Hi guys, it's a hot day here in Mumbai, but the videos don't stop. I thought I'd do a really quick video on sunburn and what to think about when you see a patient with sunburn that separates them from the normal run-of-the-mill sunburn that is kind of superficial, where you advise things like hydration, um, keeping cool, that sort of stuff. So four things really to bear in mind. Number one, are there any signs of dehydration? So is this person dry from the symptoms they're talking to you about or are they dry from the examination that you do, the numbers, that sort of stuff? That will make you think a little bit differently in terms of management. Number two, the burn itself. Is it a normal superficial burn? which most sunburn is or is there any sign that it's gone deeper into the skin that might need some additional action and treatment like any other burn for example number three are there any signs of heat exhaustion so things like headaches things like dizziness things like tachycardia and things like nausea and vomiting these are all things that make you think gosh it's a bit more than a superficial burn maybe they need some increased or other medical input and number four are there any situations where you think there might be an increased risk of complications things like people who are slightly elderly things like very young people with sunburns or things like people with medical conditions things like cardiovascular problems respiratory problems um, underlying medical conditions that may lead them to increased risk of complications of sunburn so think about four things when you see someone with sunburn number one either dehydrated number two what's the thickness of the burn number three are there any signs of heat exhaustion and number four are there any other factors that make you think there may be an increased risk of complications have a great day speak to you soon